up everyone it is your girl jail beauty 87 here aka grace and today we're gonna get into my unearthly cosmetics mystery box now i saw a couple of people i follow here on youtube like you know showing a box and spoiling it and i was like i'm not watching your video stop tempting me go away and then i saw the owner amanda posts like um a little reel so i saw like um you know how you hold the um cursor over the video and then like motion and show you something it showed me some swipes and i was like that's enough i don't want to see anything up so mine showed up in the mail before i went to work today because i was concerned about it not showing up on time but it did thank goodness so here we are at 3 40 in the morning showing off this to you because i had a long work day but still this i was gonna bring my happy self over here to show y'all this so this unboxing can go up tomorrow and i can hopefully get the video up of us doing the looks with the products friday so i have my original box of stuff i just threw it in this i think it's a beauty beauty list box or whatever i just threw it in here just so you can see this is what the original collection is from halloween i wanted to see how similar the products were in it which is why i made sure it was close by but without further ado girl let me get into it so like i said this is the outside if y'all remember the original one is orange it's actually sitting over there it's like orange um question marks and like a black background but i didn't feel like moving all other stuff to get off of it so um it says unearthly cosmetics just like it did last time it has the foam insert just like the last time let's see what she looks like Okay, so it's, it's kind of like the same concept, except you get a bigger palette instead of quad. So you get a palette. You get um, this highlighter palette, I'm assuming. Sorry, this is a glowing blush palette instead of a highlighter. This is, of course, a eyeshadow pack palette. And then you get your three satin liquid lipsticks. I think it was three satin liquid lipsticks last time. Let me see. Yeah, so it was three satin liquid lipsticks last time. It was a highlighter palette instead of a blush palette last time. And then it was these three quads last time instead of the um, um, full length eyeshadow palette. So I don't think she's ever made a full length eyeshadow palette like this since I've been buying for the brand. I know the brand was around I think like a couple of years before I found out about it. I found out about it through Angie's new makeup releases. She showed a palette from them. As a matter of fact, she had showed the strawberry milkshake and the poison apple. And that's how I found out about the brand and started buying from the brand. So that's just my little history on the brand. So... Of course, y'all know I have to check out the eyeshadow palette first. That's the part that's like most exciting for me. But maybe I should say that to last and we look at the other things. Yeah, let's look at the other things first instead of, you know, doing that whole thing. So here is what the palette looks like. This is the Glowing Blush Palette. Make sure you use code Cage Makeup or code Frizz Face. I feel like I used code um, Cage Makeup this time because the last order I made, I'm pretty sure I used code Frizz Face. Again, it says the same thing on the front of the palette. So this one doesn't have any artwork on it, but the other things do. Oh, okay. I'm loving the colors of these blushes. I definitely am going to have to compare them to some other blushes to my collection. So now I'm going to have to take pictures of this and go home and take it with me. I'm thinking about taking it home tonight so I can do some TikToks come Friday and some like Instagram reels and all that. And then bring it back with me Friday so that way I can, you know, like do the um, video wearing it. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that. But these blushes, honey. Okay. I'm here for all the romantic colors and vibes. But yes, I'm here for it. I love it. Yes, yes, yes. This is stunning. It's gorgeous. I am. I am loving this, okay? Last time I wasn't that excited about the highlighter palette, but honey, this blush palette is speaking my language. It's speaking my love language with these colors. I think these are perfect romantic colors, and I'm just like, yes, yes. So I'm happy about this, this palette. Let's look at these three lip colors. What are you saying? I just, oh, I feel like the other ones are longer. Okay, so they are smaller than the original ones, as you can see. Because, um... So this is the Halloween one, and this is the Valentine's Day one. So they're a little bit smaller. I don't. Let me see how much smaller. So it says that um, it's 0.169 fluid ounces, and then the old one says it's 0.67 fluid ounces, but they both say 5 milliliters. So I'm like, hmm. So this is the color Flirt. Ooh, look at the top. I don't know if you can see it has like this glitter that's sparkling moving around in there. Ooh. But this is the color. This is definitely a color I would wear. Like, look at it. Yes, y'all know I'm all about the mall moments. So she came through with like, you know, a like Madame Grage-ish type vibe to it. And I'm just like, yes, I want to put it alongside the other one though and see like, so you can see the difference in the packaging from the first one to the second one. Because I feel like they um, have definitely upgraded. Because look at that. This is just original plain black top and product. But it's saying you get the same amount of product or close to the same amount of product. So 
that works. I'm definitely feeling the new packaging though. Always room for improvement in anything. So shout out to her for updating this packaging. It's the vibe. Next, I have the color Dreamy. Oh, and I didn't show y'all packaging on these. Sorry. If it'll focus on that instead of my hand. Okay, there you go. So there's the packaging on the box for that. And this is super pale nude shade. It's called Dream. Sorry, Dreamy. So that's what it looks like. It's definitely giving concealer lip vibes, but you know, I guess I'm okay with it. It's a gorgeous color though. I feel like it'll work nice on my skin tone, even though it doesn't necessarily look like it in the bottom. Cause the Makeda one works really nice and this doesn't look like it would work on some of my skin tone, so I'm happy about that. The last one we have is sorry y'all, I was trying to show y'all the last lipstick in the shade Delight. Then the card got full. I told y'all these cards love to get full. I'll be trying to film. It'll be the middle of the night. I mean, everything want to get full and just get on my last nerves. So Delight and was it Dreamy? I feel like look kind of similar. So let me show you both of them side by side because I was taking it back for a second because yeah, this is Delight. I feel like it's a little bit deeper. So I guess she tried to make nudes for everyone and then a nice little like berry tone one that everybody can wear because this is Delight. And this is dreamy. I feel like they look really similar in tone though. Now I want to watch other people's videos and see like are these like the same ones or did they just ask them to put the wrong sticker on mine? Like what's going on? Because is it just me y'all? Does that color look exactly the same as other? Now it's like I want to investigate and do some swatching. But I feel like this one is a little more um, deeper and beige. And I feel like this one's supposed to be a little lighter and like pink. Let's investigate. Or as Angie would say, for science. Let's, let's do it for science. Ooh. Y'all went to go turn it and my thing came off. So I'm going to eat. He doesn't know how to take this off properly, apparently. Because I was turning too high at the top and it popped off. Okay, so it has a unique little foot to it, too. Like, like this weird, I don't know if you can see. It's a weird curve to the foot like that. Yeah. So this is the shade Delight, right? Yes, this is the shade Delight. Look, it was nice and moosey on the hand when I'm swatching it like the Lethal Cosmetics ones those feel really nice and um smooth on the hand as well let's put this back in the right box delight let's try not to break the packaging off this one this time because you know that was my idiot fault my bad okay now taking them out I can see the difference like one is definitely lighter than the other one but because of the smoky packaging I was like hold up all these look the same ho 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 but I'm glad I had to specify Okay, I'm glad I know the tea. Okay, so. And I might as well just swatch flirt too since I'm about to show y'all all three of the different ones. So it seems like one nude is supposed to be like a medium tone nude for like people like myself. Tan, sorry, people that's tan like Dion and um, Karen and then like people that are deep like myself or too much mouth. Like it's supposed to be our perfect nude and then I feel like the one in the middle is supposed to be for like, I guess, light to medium. So this one is Delight. As you can see, this is more concealer lips for me. This one is supposed to be Dreamy. Or, yeah, I think that one's Dreamy and I'm pretty sure this one was Flirt. So I'm liking all the colors and tones she chose in these. So I'm here for it. I would wear all three of these colors. So, so far, so good. I'm loving the blush palette. I'm loving the um, lipsticks. And the formula on these is really nice. Now, we need to look at the eyeshadow palette. I love the packaging on this. Like, as you, she killed it with the packaging. It's called Surrender. I'm assuming that's what we're going to call the name of the selection. Surrender. Um, so, let's pop her on out here. And the packaging, again, matches the inside packaging. So, let's see what this palette looks like. Hmm. Okay. I remember from when I got the teaser, seeing the swatch of kind of like this. It's kind of giving me like a wannabe grungy version of my love palette from Natasha Denona, my midi love. That That's the vibe it's giving me automatically. But I'm going to take it home and investigate and see if we got any other palettes that match from my collection that are similar. It kind of gives me vibes of Metamorphosis too without like the pink. The Metamorphosis I did from um, Lisa Cosmetics from the Holiday Collection because it has some of the neutral tones in it. It has like the berry-ish type tones in it. The only difference that they didn't have is they didn't have like obviously the pink. But I feel like if I cover the pink up, it looks really close to the Metamorphosis palette. So we're going to have to investigate that. Y'all know I'm going to have my like um, 
uh, TikToks ready with my comparisons because that's where I do a lot of palette comparisons. If you notice, I haven't really been putting them on my YouTube shorts. I'm trying to get back to doing that, but I would prefer to put those on TikTok just to give you different content everywhere because I feel like if I give it here, then you know it's going to be a whole situation. But that is the unboxing, girl. So you can tell me down below what you thought of this stuff. I'm mainly excited about this blush palette. And this eyeshadow palette is nice too. Like this whole box, again, she killed it with the box. I am here for it. I am here for it. I'm so glad I bought it. Um, make sure you use code frizz face or code cage for makeup, whichever one you prefer to use. But girl, these lips, honey. I mean, these lips, this blush, this 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 eyeshadow palette, like all of it's just giving everything I'm here for. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the diamonds. I told you we would film this video Friday, so Friday night. At 5 o'clock, you should get the video of me actually using the products. But this was just a quick teaser for you all to see what was actually in the box. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye. Oh, by the way, what's on my eyes is Lisa Cosmetics Night Flower, if anybody care. Okay, bye. Of course, I decided otherwise, after I gave y'all the whole cute little outro and everything, that we was going to do um, the video all in one. Because I got some PR in the mail yesterday. So, I didn't want to film with that tomorrow. So, I didn't want to have to film this uh, tomorrow so here we are um yeah let's get to the blush palette so we're gonna try this on but <clears throat> i knew these blush palettes reminded me of something and of course it reminded me of my adept cosmetics so this is the valentina one and then i bought the stella one just so you all can see the differences in color i did put a little bit of powder blush on just because i didn't want all shimmer on my face so i have on um i just grabbed a uh, berry tone blush but here is what the valentina one looks like alongside it so let me come down so as you can see it's just a deeper richer version of the valentina one if you prefer a lighter tone you might want to get the valentina one instead of this one i mean i know it's in the box but that's like you might want to just buy this one and then maybe you can sell this one on macari or something or just use a light hand but this is what it looks like alongside the adept one and then i'll show you it along stella valentina was my favorite one of the two but you know berry tone blushes look really nice on people my skin tones so i wasn't surprised it was my favorite and the stella one seems like it has highlighters and blushes in it so that's what it looks like alongside it so i knew it if this blush powder reminded me of something i just I get off working for, I mean, I usually have to film intros and stuff at like 4 in the morning, y'all. So, I be forgetting, like, which brand it was. I knew the brand that I had it from, and it was one of my favorites at that. So, um, I'm thinking we're going to just go into this one right here. And I might top it with a little bit of this one, just so we can see what the colors look like. Or maybe I'll just put one on each side. I'm thinking I'm going to put Passion on one side and just put Romance on the other side. So, that's, I think that's what we're going to do. So, we're going to start off with Passion. Like I said, I put a blush on top because I didn't want just shimmer on my cheek. I wanted something else, so. Plus, I forget to get a nice little pop to what I already have on. And it's doing just that. So, this is what she looks like. I really like this color. My sister's downstairs playing games, so hopefully you can't hear Adrian Game Over screaming. He got one of those meta headset things for Christmas. So, we're enjoying that. Also... My son got his 8th grade graduation um, cap and gown today for his picture. So I'm like, ooh. So I'm about to have like a teenager y'all for real this year. When August comes, his first day of school, he will be in high school. And it will be his birthday. So I'm interested in see how that goes. Now we're taking a straight romance. I'm just so excited. Okay, so I like both colors equally, but I feel like I'm liking romance a little bit better. I feel like I would like this better as a blush topper much more often than necessarily this one. But I feel like this one might go top good on top of the Gucci blush as well. Right now, like I said, I just picked the berry tone blush, but Gucci blush is at home. I didn't put it all away for a little bit because y'all know I was using those to death. Right now, I'm actually using the OPV Beauty Born to Shine palette, the one that came in the Trimble box a long time ago. But here's what the shade um, Passionate looks like. And remember, this is Shade Romance. I like the Shade Romance the best. I feel like it gives the best pigmentation. looks the nicest based on what I got going on right now. But yeah, I'm here for it. I just have on a Champagne Generic Highlighter. I'll show these alongside a couple more blushes too, though. So, I have the um, Bloom Palette from, what's her name? Um, Nadasha. And here's what her two shimmer blushes in here look like. I feel like this one at the top looks like 
this one at the very bottom. I ain't gonna do slots and all that, girl, because we'll be here forever. And I'm tired, I haven't eaten all day. I, this video is going up late because um, Adrian came over, had a half a day at school, and then um, I had a situation last night where I had to help somebody get their car out of the um, um, shop, and then um, I had, since Adrian got out at 11 o'clock, and I had to go run errands beforehand because I knew I had to drive out here and film this video. It was, it was a lot, girl. So here is the Pillow Talk palette. Again, I feel like the shimmery blushes in here are lightly pigmented compared to these. So, again, what I like about the um, an earthly one is it's going to give lots of pigmentation. And then this is the palette I think um, Morgan Turner was talking about, Orgasm on the Beach from NARS. I found it at, um, where's that place called? Um, Nordstrom's Rack for, I think, 20 or 25 bucks when I got their NARS um, Climax palette that um, I am Jamila talked about in her... Um, community tab so here's what they look like just want to give you comparisons of stuff that's already in my collection and see if some of my match with your collection but i feel like with the pigmentation and the tone she shows in this one i haven't i don't have any other ones in my collection but i don't really collect a lot of shimmery blushes so you know i can't say too much y'all saw the swatches of lipsticks i don't know what lipstick i'm gonna use yet i gotta wait till i use the palette but um i do have palette comparisons so let me do those now and then i will go off camera and actually do some of my eyes with this gorgeous palette so when I first saw this palette, of course, it made me think of my, one of my beloved palettes for um, Valentine's Day, my Midi Love palette. Y'all know this is like one of my favorite, this is my favorite Natasha Denona Midi palette, the um, Love. So as you can see, it looks quite similar. So you might be getting the underrated versus overrated because I got both these in it. Put that in the box for the overrated versus underrated video as well as a old school versus new school because that palette came out quite a long time ago. Okay, the next one I have to talk about is Metamorphosis from um, Lethal. I felt like they could be somewhat similar. It has oranges and um, golds instead of purples though. So it's giving more warm tone sunrise vibes from Natasha Denona. But I feel like you can still somewhat use it. You're just not going to have those pinks and purples that are in here. I was thinking about comparing it to um, her sleepover palette as well, but I feel like that's just much more deeper in tone. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. Did I leave it at home? Because I don't see it anywhere. So I'm assuming I left it at home and I meant to bring it. Y'all see it in the TikTok or you might see it in the short stuff. Because it's not, yeah, it's not here. If I find it while I'm doing the eye look, I'll show it when you, at, when you actually see what I have with the eye look. Next, of course, I had to show you Smoky Glow's palette because it looks really similar to um, Natasha Denona's Love palette. So I figured it might look similar too. The only thing is one of these shades is trying to break. I mean, it tries to pop out. I always have a shade in a Midas Cosmetics palette that tries to pop out. So I'm holding it back like this for you, like, pause and you can look at the similarities yourself. But um, I don't want to hold it perfectly down and then the shade fall out. I thought I had glued it back in, but again, I don't remember which one it is, and it's still making a rattling noise, so I'm not trying to risk it, girl. I'm not trying to risk it. Next, I have New Romance from Beauty Bay. What both of those look like. So, New Romance, and this one is back on up because it's kind of long. Okay, there we go. And pause it and Look at those two. I feel like that one looks somewhat similar as well. Might look a little bit more similar than the Taja Denona. And then lastly, I have Moonspell. So hurry up before the card fills up. Here are both of those. Okay, y'all. So here is the eye. I use one of the eyeliners from um, the Mario and Colourpop collection. As y'all can see, I started putting on the eye without you just because I'm hungry and I was thinking in my mind, like, yeah, you can get this eye look done and then you can go. Now I realized that I wasn't filming when I was doing this, so um, I had to take this part off. But as you can see, I, I really had went in and I put the red on everything. I was like, I'm not playing today. So I'm going to take the shade Flirt. That's the, like, Marvin one. Are we really surprised? Y'all know I love me a mauve moment, so I'm going to do that one. I feel like these feel like the similar formula to the Lethal Cosmetics ones. They also feel somewhat similar to that Makeup by Mario formula, the um, satiny kind of moussey lipstick she has. So, if you're curious what the formula's like, that's what the formula this reminds me of. Lethal Cosmetics and uh, Makeup by Mario. Ooh, got my lips are dry. Okay, y'all. 
the lethal ones are a little more moosey than the wild ones I used to make up my Mario ones. Cause I usually use his bullets, but I remember them having a moosey S texture as well. Please excuse my dry lips, y'all, because they just, I don't think it's dry. But you know, I be out here in these streets, you know. Ugh. You know my teeth are like? <laughs> but here's the color and what we're working with. It's a little bit darker than I expected on me. Like, I don't know, with these tubes, I feel like they look darker than I feel like they would look on my face. And now I wish I had put on like one of the lighter nudes just cause it's like, I'm not liking how deep this is. I wanted it to be a little bit more on the lighty, lighter side. So there's that. But let me put this eyeshadow primer on and then we can get to it, girl. So, so I need to re-put it here. I didn't pull it all the way up. So I did have a lighter color already on like my brow bone oil, I use the shade Corset. I'm about to show y'all the shades I use now, but I figured I'd tell you what I started off with since I already have one on my eyes. So I started off with the shade Corset right here. I'm put a little bit of it, a little more of it on. Then I took the shade Sensual right there. Y'all know I had to use the shade some render, like I love colors like that. Then I used the shade Intoxicating on the back of the eye. And then I put Alluring toward the front of the eye. And then I put the purple mesmerizing in the inner corner. So y'all know I'm going to use all the brighter fun shades. But we're going to take a little bit more, of course, and just dust it over here. And around where I really put the red. So all that is going to go all right here. And then we're going to dust underneath there. And that's what we're working with for that. Now let's go into the shade Sensual. And I'm so glad I didn't um, wash the brushes I had sitting next to me because they had a similar tone on them for, for the um, candy shop collection video I did. But I have from Julia's Place, but I had um, already used them. But I was like, the colors aren't exactly alike to where it's going to transition over and do anything. So it's like I have less brushes to wash. I'm like, cause I'm tired tonight, so I don't feel like washing a whole bunch of brushes, but I'm like, I can wash a few that I have. Cause I only have like face brushes and like, I think four eye brushes or something. So it's not too, too bad. I'd be hating them nice when I came over here and I had to do three or four eye looks and I left all the brushes sitting downstairs and then it's like I'm trying to wash them. But I should have washed them when I was here. Um, I think it was Wednesday night, thir sorry, Thursday morning. If I got off work Wednesday night, so I mean, that way I wouldn't have as many wash. But you know, I didn't because as usual I was tired and I knew I was going to stay Saturday night. I mean Friday night, so I could just do it then. Now we're going to take the shade Surrender. And just dust that. do that I'll dust it over whatever shade I use on the, the out of you just to give it more detail I'm ready to go pick up my taco y'all like for real and I haven't even ordered them yet and it's a Friday night so I feel like it's gonna be pretty busy but you know it's okay I'm still getting them so I'm thinking I'm getting like six because my son said he wants to try tacos he normally gets a burrito but um since he's trying to get tacos today I'm just dust a little bit of it um, brush with corset on it. I didn't add any on it. I'm just dusting over. So, there we go. Now I'm gonna take some glitter glue and cut. But yeah, like I was saying, he'll normally get like, what do you call them? Um, a burrito. He gets a steak burrito with just lettuce, but it's like he wants to get tacos. Like, I get tacos, so I'm like, okay. So, I need to adjust how many tacos I'm gonna get now because, like, I know I can eat like four over the course of a couple of days. And since he's never had them, I don't want to buy a whole lot of them. And then he doesn't like them, so I'm like, I'm gonna get six. And then he can have two and then see how he feels about them. And then I have my normal four. And then it's not like we still don't have food here. So, if he doesn't like them, I have other food here for him to eat because it's like once I come inside after going to get these tacos, I'm not going back outside again. He already has McDonald's for lunch. He said he's gonna get two sandwiches so that way he could not have me go out for dinner but since i'm going out for dinner for my tacos and he already ate his sandwiches that's how he's getting some more because otherwise he'd have been eating what's up in here i'm like 
We got cut down on cost. I'm not playing gas and went back up, y'all. Child. Child. Have y'all seen the outrageous prices of gas? I'm like, look here. Who, who are these people that you think that's made the money? Where are they? I went to go to the store to buy something. One of my friends told me she had went and bought some body wash from the store. And it was like, I'm sorry, lotion from the store. And it was like $12. I was like, $12 for, lo for Vaseline? Girl, where, where are you shopping? Is this a bodega? Like, why is, your, why is this $12? <laughs> you know, that was the shade Intoxicate. Now we're going to take the shade Allure and put it toward the front. But yeah, my price of everything is just, you know, crazy. But I think I heard that the price of goods is going down. I watched this guy named Dion from the Wall Street Journal. And he's talking about the CPI. So I'm like, I'm hoping that, you know, it's going down. Because he said services were going up. Because, you know, we can finally, like, somewhat safely move back into the world. You haven't heard a lot about a whole bunch of COVID cases anymore and all that. So I'm feeling like, you know, That's somewhat of a good thing, but somewhat of a bad thing too. Because it's like when you want to go travel now, like everybody else wants to go travel, they're going to charge you a million dollars for that. And then they still charge you a million dollars for food, the grocery store. And it's like they charge you a million dollars for everything. So it's like, is it really necessarily a good thing? I don't know. But you know, it, it's still a thing. Whether it's good or bad, it's still a thing. So I'm trying to get myself together here. Mesmerizing. And I'm loving how all the videos of people talking about Morphe and coming out about Morphe. I, I listened. I somewhat listened to Laura and um, Manny's podcast about it. I didn't get to hear a lot of what they said because I was like at work trying to listen to it. And I was listening on my computer, not like um, on my headphones. So it's like I have to run around a lot when I'm at work to do stuff. So I didn't really get to truly listen. But, you know, I heard them talking about their relationship with the owners and how like it had changed. And that's why a lot of influencers didn't want to work with them anymore. And they just went and grabbed TikTokers and stuff like um, the old school YouTubers that were making Linda and I forgot her brother a lot of money or whatever. They went into a whole bunch of stuff, but like I said, I didn't get to listen to a lot of it. But it just takes it. I'm just glad they didn't try to bash the brand after they had gotten what they wanted out of it. Because I was watching this other guy named Dustin Daly, I think his name is. He was talking about how he was hoping that they didn't do that. And I was too, because I'm like, how are you going to sit up and talk about the people after you, you know? Then took all you could from them and then walked away. So, since they didn't do that, I was like, okay. Because I was sure about to be like everybody else in the side and like. You tried. You tried all of it, if that's what they were going to do. But they didn't do that, thank goodness. So, I was just like, okay. I mean, I feel like they threw a little shade. But they were throwing it toward the new people that own the brand. Not necessarily the original owners. So, anyway. This is the finished look. I haven't put on my other eyeliner little mascara, obviously, but I like it with the wing a lot. Y'all will be seeing this tonight. Sorry, it was so late, girl. I, I told y'all in the beginning about all the stuff that's happening and why you didn't see it sooner. But I like the collection, of course. I think this look looks nice. I don't necessarily like it with this eye, but you know, we're gonna make it work for this thumbnail and look real cute, like in it. Um, the eyeshadow palette, it's um, it's somewhat of what I expected. I didn't expect necessarily to get like this little section of neutral right here but i mean like i understand like everybody don't want to use all of this and i feel like all brands put a little section of neutrals in it just so that you can use it more than every day and have some pop of color in your palette so i mean i guess that's okay and fine or whatever but you know this is what we're working with the formula was really nice so as y'all saw the colors blended in nice and easy the shimmers look really nice on the lid i like everything about this palette um even the artwork i think it's i know some people think it's a little bit racy i don't think it's too bad the only one i think is a little much is the one that this one that's on the lipsticks with the lady like i guess somewhat considered bondage or whatever i'm not sure hope i don't get demonetized today but i can know if you're supposed to say that or not i'm new to this whole monetization thing so I, I don't know if i was even supposed to say that or not but i like everything i tried in the collection this is i think my second time trying their lipsticks i always get their lipsticks in the um, mystery boxes i haven't actually bought any of them just because i'm not really huge on liquid lipsticks right now i'm more of a bullet lipstick type girl but um it's a couple of brands of liquid lipstick i like like um hoodas is a classic that i like um what's a girl named um maggie of the owner of Lynn Bunny, her liquid lipsticks are really nice, and I can add these to my repertoire along with my Lethal Cosmetics ones, cause like I like buying a variety of things from indie brands sometimes, not just like getting the eyeshadow palette to go. So I'm liking when they have other options and things to choose from, so you can talk about more than just that, cause like everybody likes a different part of makeup. You might like lipstick, so now you know that the Unearthly Cosmetics lipsticks work really nicely. 
but I liked everything as a whole, of course. Like, y'all know Unearthly is one of my favorite brands, so I like everything I try for the most part. But y'all know I'll be honest and, and show you the tea. Like, I showed you the tea on the, um, you know, my glam my um, Weirdos palette with the glamour shade that was dried out. So it's like, I don't have it just because I like them. Like, you know, we, we still finna be real. And I really like this box, so that's what's real. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all the dimes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.